done after three days in the field basically. We, had, we looked at some of the same outcrops again in uh, using virtual reality and it was to me a really positive experience. I think there's tons of potential in that technology. A great learning tool, um, a great way to have a collaborative discussion um, with a group of people, not just geologists, but engineers and, and um, on, on aspects that they've either seen in core or things they've actually seen in, in, live in, in, in the outcrop. Students also, they were really impressed by two things, I think also myself. One is how we can play with the scales, which actually put a log, you know, that we, all the time we work on it, at the same scale to the outcrop, and, re, and we can go down to the, our real scales and really see the, the dimension of, of you know, of the, of the logs that we usually see. So, to be honest, and I'm not exaggerating, is uh, one of the most amazing experiences that I have been through in, in terms of learning uh, mm -hmm. uh, methods. The, the resolution uh, was spectacular. I mean, these are really perfect images uh, of the outcrop. Uh, and with the, with the VR equipment, you can spin the, the, the model around, zoom in, and, and as a geologist, um, I wish I had this for my PhD. Without a doubt, there's value. Um, I think that um, being able to overlay images on top of the outcrop, uh, being able to integrate the thin section uh, at the outcrop, being able to instantaneously pull up the thin section, uh, being able to stretch and squeeze the, the log on the outcrop in real time and um, share that experience with other people was, uh, was overall positive.